Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, man. I'm back and we doing this thing again, man. We doing it again. Today, man, I'm back with another little video for y'all, man. Today, I'm gonna update y'all <laughs> on what happened to the turtle tank. That, that turtle tank turned into something totally different. And I'm gonna show y'all what happened with that today, man. It's, I, it's time. It's time. I, I wanted to wait, make sure everything went smoothly and according to plan, but I'm gonna just show y'all, man, because this is as good as it's gonna be for right now. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm gonna update y'all on a, a little few things and everything, so y'all just, just stay tuned, man. And we finna, we finna talk about this, man. We gonna have convos about this, because I know some of y'all out there, you know what I'm saying? Y'all fish lovers, turtle lovers, all that. We gonna, we gonna talk about it all. Okay, so what y'all just saw was me uh, siphoning some water out of the tank. I siphoned some of the water out. Also, I gravel back. Well, yeah, gravel back my sand and my gravel at the bottom. So, if y'all want to see a separate video on how I actually gravel back my sand without sucking up all my sand, just let me know that down in the comments, and I'll go ahead and make a separate video on that. But today is only just a little update. You know how I do. You know, or what maintenance I do on my tanks and everything. So that's what I'm gonna show y'all today, man. But y'all just saw me gravel some of the gravel, gravel some. Of the... No, y'all just saw me siphon some of the water and clean the tank, clean the sand, clean the gravel, all that. But now got to put the water back in. So what you I, what you wanna do? I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. But what you wanna do before you put your water in? Well, what I do. Before I put the water back into the tank, I go ahead and put my water conditioner in the aquarium. The proper amount, you know, read the directions. I always follow directions on stuff with your fish. Because you don't want to put too much, you don't want to put too less. So just go ahead and read the directions, man. Follow directions to the T, man. If I must say so myself, you want to go ahead and you want to follow those directions, man. So you go ahead and dump your water conditioner in there. If you want to do it how I do it, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and, and dump your water conditioner in there. And uh, then start putting putting your water back in because you know when as soon as the water goes into the tank it's already chlorinated so you want to go ahead and put some some dechlorinator into the tank before you start putting that water filled with chlorine and chloramines inside of your tank so they won't affect your fish as soon as it goes in there so you go ahead and take that out of the equation right now you know so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that man and I'm gonna get back with y'all when I'm done. <laughs> Now that you have your water conditioner in your water, you're ready to start back adding your water. But wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. You don't want to just start adding any kind of water into the into the aquarium. You don't even know the temperature of it. You can't just be throwing some cold water in a tank like that. You can't do that. So what you got to do is first, what you want to do is you want to grab a thermometer from somewhere. You want to go buy a thermometer if you don't have one already, which you should have one if you keep in tropical fish. You should already have a thermometer because they need certain temperature water. So what I normally do is I grab a thermometer off of one of one of my tanks. And I just, I go and I run it under the water as it runs. That way I know when I hit the correct temperature. A lot of people say they've been doing it for a while. So, you know, they don't really need the thermometer. They can do it by hand and, and that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. I just like to be on the safe side. I just like to do it anyway. Because if you put 
colder water into your tank, your fish can go into shock. And shock equals death. You don't want you, you don't want your fish to die. I love my fish, man. I man, boy, I try to keep my fish alive as long as possible, man. So I just want to be on the safe side. So I go ahead and run my water over the thermometer and see and wait till it gets to the right temperature and then I start by adding my water. So there you go. So let's go ahead and take care of that right now. <laughs> So, what I just realized was that on, on the way from the tank to the kitchen, I broke, I broke my uh, thermometer. So, if y'all saw me switch from the, uh, this one to the yellow thermometer, it's because I broke that one. So, I had to go get another one for this tank. But anyway, I got the water to the conditions, and now I'm refilling the water. Let me show you. I'm refilling the water so so if y'all wonder how I'm doing this with no buckets man this thing right here saves lives I'm trying to tell you if you do not want to carry buckets ever again in your life get you either a python or a, I think it's a pyth python or aquion I think the one I have is aquion it's a uh like an automatic water changer you know what i'm saying it's a siphon it's like a hose that you connect to your sink your kitchen sink or your bathroom sink and it sucks the water out of your aquarium for you and it puts the water back into the aquarium for you once you put it to the right temperature man this thing saves lives man i was carrying buckets after buckets after buckets and then when i got the 55 gallon aquarium man i decided man no more buckets for me man no more buckets so I got that. I made the investment, man. And 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 this one wasn't even that much. I know people. A lot of people talk crap about this one because it does have a little kinks in there thing in it. Once you you know wrap it up for a couple times, it, it does get a few kinks in it or whatnot. But it doesn't stop the water flow. All you gotta do is get like squeeze the little kinks out and you're good to go. You know. But uh, this was like I think uh, thirty something dollars from. PetSmart actually. I got it on PetSmart online for thirty some dollars. And then I think the Python costs about fifty dollars. So if you can spare some money for whichever one you choose, man, please save yourself some time, some energy, some effort, all that. It makes doing water changes so much easier. And it just makes you wanna do water changes when you're supposed to do water changes. That way you keep your fish all good and healthy, keep the water clean, keep the ammonia, nitrites and nitrates out of your water, man. And there you go. But yeah, man, that's that's all. That's all. That's gonna be all the maintenance I'm gonna show y'all for today, man. Next, I'm just I'm just gonna now I'm just gonna show y'all the aquariums and what I got going because that what y'all just saw has to be done to two more tanks. So I'm just gonna show y'all what I'm working with after this tank is done filling back up. Okay, so the first tank I want to show y'all is the 55 gallon aquarium. This is my Mbuna cichlid tank. So, I'm gonna just give y'all a little, little rundown on Mbuna real quick. So Mbuna, they come from Africa. They're African cichlids. They come from Lake Malawi. These guys, they like a, a hotter temperature, you know, somewhere between like uh, 74 and like 82. So I keep their, their tank at a bomb in like 82, keep it good and comfortable and everything. Got a big heater in there. Uh, got two filters. This is the, uh, this is a top fan. It's a top fan 75. So it, it fills to 75 gallons of water. Well, up to 75 gallons of water. And this is what actually came. It was a kit. Uh, it came with the aquarium. And this right here is the uh, is the AquaClear 50. This filters up to 50 gallons of water. So all together I got what? 125 gallons of water being filtered. So you don't really gotta go by, you know, how many gallons being filtered. You what you really wanna go for is the gallons per hour that it filters. We'll get into that another day. If y'all wanna, if y'all wanna hear some more about me babbling on about filters and everything, y'all let me know that. Now make another video on that. But uh, yeah. So what we got here, man? Right here, this my boy right here, man. We got a uh, 
a yellow lab right here. And then y'all can see floating above him, we have two tiger barbs. Uh, it's gonna be more tiger bars in there. I know you're supposed to keep about at least six of these guys together, but at the time being, all I could get was two, and so it's gonna be more coming. And right here, we have the Pseudotrophius Aratus. Oh, we have two Pseudotrophius Johanni, the electric blue Johanni. It's two of them in there. This is the big guy. Uh, he is uh, the tank boss and he bosses everybody around, abuses everybody. Over here we have the, who we got? Oh, oh right here we have the yellowtail ACI. He's one of, the, one of my newer fish. I've had him for about a week now. So we have the yellowtail ACI and, but for some reason, two of my fish wanna hide right now. Why? Oh, here goes the, here's the other uh, electric blue Johanny. And it's one more fish. He's just hiding right now. Oh, here he is. This is the albino Sokolify. He's beautiful. Oh, can't forget my boy down here, man. We have the, the common Placostomus down there. He's hiding, he's always hiding. Plicos are nocturnal, so most of the time when I had the lights on, he would be hiding, and I'll catch him. When I cut off the lights, I'll catch him out eating algae. You know, he eats algae wafers because I don't have any actual algae in my tank, or not much, rather. But as y'all can see, I got this big, huge uh, structure here. So what I did was I went to my local Home Depot, I went to the garden center and picked up some brick. Uh, for those people in like construction or landscape, you guys know that these are brick pavers. And uh, so what I did was I got these, I got about 30 of them in here. 48 cent a piece, really, really, really cheap. So if you wanna grab some of these and also cichlids like a higher pH. So also if you throw some brick in your tank, it actually raises your pH. Depending on what fish you have, you may not want to put them in there, uh, but most other fish really would need this just to cichlids because they need a bunch of places to hide. The, the word Mbuna or Mabuna or people in Africa, the way they actually pronounce it is Buna, meaning the, uh, the rock dweller or the cave dweller. So these guys need a lot of hiding places. For one, that's how their natural habitat is. And for two, they're aggressive. <laughs> like people say, some people say they're mildly aggressive, but they are really aggressive. It, it, but it depends on which ones you get. Like I, I feel like they're like puppies or something. Each one comes with their own personality. So it just depends on the personality of the fish that you get. But you do want to get them a, a bunch of hiding places. So what I did was I stacked the brick up in a way where it created tons and tons of different hiding spaces. So this guy right here, he won't be able to, you know, get to everybody how he wants to because they have plenty of places to hide. And uh, this is not all I'm gonna get. This is just, uh, you know, starting out with the tank and everything. This is just the amount of fish that I'm getting for right, right now because I want to let my filters catch up to the uh, bio load of the fish right now. And uh, I'm gonna add more and more fish slowly. I don't want to add too many. I don't want to have, uh, you know, an ammonia spike or anything. So I'm gonna add the fish really, really slowly. I am gonna overstock this tank because of the aggression, because they do get pretty aggressive. And so a quick tip for the beginner fish keepers out there, if you're thinking about keeping Buna, you kinda wanna overstock your tank. You wanna get more fish than less, you know, because the more fish you get, the more distracted your fish get uh, with another fish. So instead of one fish targeting only one fish in the tank, they'll, he'll, he'll have other fish in there to distract him so that he won't actually have the chance to kill one of your fish. He'll always get distracted. So that's what I was going for with this tank. Also, if you are gonna overstock your tank, make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure that you have proper filtration. If you do, if you do not have proper proper filtration, you're gonna have ammonia problems and you're gonna have nitrate, nitrite problems, which are deadly to your fish. And you don't wanna have that. We can talk about uh, the nitrogen cycle in another video, not gonna get to that. Today, I'm just, I just wanna introduce y'all to my tanks and let y'all know what's going on with them. 
Over here we got the turtle tank. Okay, so for those of you who already have turtles, you know that turtles are absolutely the dirtiest animal on the planet. So her water is horrible. And I, I change her water every week when I change everyone else's water. But I can top it up to, uh, I don't have big enough filtration for her right now. But I'm actually working on that. We in the process of that right now. Getting her a bigger filter. But uh, as I showed y'all in the last video, you know, she got a basking duck right here. Y'all saw the stand that we had for her last time. But this time, we put her at the bottom because we got another fish tank, which wasn't planned. It was not planned, but it, it you know, it just happened like that. You know, when you get the love, when you get that, those fingers for them fish, you just, you just go all out, you know? But uh, up top, up top is the new edition, the newest edition. So in here, I have three uh, Cory cats or Corydoras catfish. Uh, they're pretty small right now. There are three, three albino Corydoras catfish. I have four guppies in here. Uh, three of them are red, and one of them is white, which is which is he's really really pretty. Uh, also, I have one angelfish in here. I had I had four in all. I had four angelfish in all, but I got them from Walmart. Uh, you could tell that they were all sick already when I got them from Walmart because all of them were in one corner. They were just huddled together and they was just float at the bottom. So you can already tell they were sick. And so the next day, I get up and they was just dying one by one. And it was four of them, but I only have one left. And this guy is looking pretty, he's looking pretty healthy, man. So let's hope that, you know, he recovers, you know, because Walmart, they have a reputation for having a horrible water quality and how they keep their fish is just bad. So I, I really, the reason why I do get fish from Walmart is to kind of, you know, adopt or, you know, rescue some fish, you know, so... I grabbed those, but they didn't make it. The only one made it, so I, I was able to save one fish. So hopefully he has a better home here than he would have at Walmart. But this is, oh, also this is a 40-gallon aquarium. And I have a blue light on it. So if y'all was wondering what's that, uh, how it's looking so blue, I have a blue light on it. Uh, I don't, none of my tanks have the best lighting yet. They don't have the lighting that I want as of now but we'll be getting some better lighting sometime off but for right now all of this 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 will do right now you know uh little decorations in there i got all fake plant in there i'm going to actually probably this week or next week i'm going to get some java fern and i'm actually going to get another one of these rocky decorations right here and i'm gonna uh tie down the java fern to the rock because you know it's all fern you supposed to tie it down to something to let it spread and everything so we're gonna do all that because I know angelfish love live plant and they love a bunch of plants so they have somewhere to hide and I'm actually going to get one more uh, angelfish but I get that one from the pet store so I, it'll have a better chance of living because I ain't going to be spending my money for you know but anyway man yeah I just thought I'd show y'all what I'm working with today man and what we got because I know last time I showed y'all the turtle tank I told y'all to stay tuned for the fish. I didn't think it was gonna take me this long, but it did. So, this is what we work with, man. And I'll be keeping y'all updated on what's going on when I add some new fish or when I change some decorations or when I add plants to this tank. I'll be letting y'all know, man. And if y'all really wanna, uh, if y'all have any like questions or anything, feel free to hit me up in the comments. Also, also, uh, let me know what other kind of videos y'all want to see. Y'all want to see more videos on turtles, fish, and the Mbuna cichlids over there. Y'all just let me know and I'll make more videos. But man, yeah, man, that's it, man. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share the whole shebang, dog. Wee!